Let us bring to God now our prayers of love for him, where we confess our sins and are assured of his forgiveness. Let us pray. Holy God, sometimes prayers are hard to form. It has been so long since we were in church. Sometimes the wells of faith dry up in us. It is so long since we were in church. Sometimes it feels like we are flat and uninspired, like batteries run down. We used to recharge every Sunday in church, singing your praise in joyful chorus, letting our voices soar to the rafters, but not for a long time now. Holy God, who sometimes seems so far, will you help us to find you in our kitchens? Will you speak to us through a computer screen or television? Will your gift of faith through the righteousness of Christ yet fall upon us in a low ceilinged front room? For if you sometimes seem far away, surely that is because you are divine beyond all reckoning. We miss the high ceilings of our churches, but even the vaults of heaven cannot hold you. When we stand under the stars and gaze at the wonders of your furthest creation, even these have not exhausted your glory and power. How amazing it is to think that when we hum along to a favourite hymn, we are, by your grace, joining our voices with the choirs of angels, with the music of the spheres. Holy God, Give us the faith we need to grow into our most divine calling. May all the godly virtues embodied so perfectly in Jesus our Lord become the desires of our own hearts. As we repent of our smallness of heart, our failures of courage, our lack of humanity, let alone divinity. Replace these sins in us with goodness and wisdom, perseverance and self-control, and above all, love, love and love again, till we resemble, just a little more nearly, the Saviour we follow, or try to follow. And now, as we pray to you in the words that Jesus taught us, we open again our hands and our hearts to receive your gift of faith. Our hot little hands, our careless little hearts, that most precious gift. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen.